Guys, welcome to game one between K. Arthur and Gandhi. And this is actually a restart because I wasn't recording the first time. And I was waiting for Discord notifications on the second. By the way, you guys can join the Discord. It automatically sends notifications out if you don't have the channel muted. Otherwise, you can mute the channel and chat things up. I actually have a few random pictures from vacation <laughs> here and there. Also, I want to inform, some people asked about two things. One, it's like, hey, color switching. So if it is in melee mode and they send me the replay when they were playing in melee mode when I do the color switch, like so, which is shift and tab, it will do yellow and yellow. So in this instance, yeah, you can see. Otherwise, I try to keep it the base colors unless one of them is ugly or not. This is on Polypoid, by the way. Upper left hand corner, we have Gandhi starting as the Red Protoss. I'm not familiar with either of these guys. Apparently, K. Arthur is from Cuba. So technically, the North American region. And Gandhi is Russian, so quite a bit of lag between these two. We'll see how they end if that ends up affecting their play at all. This is again on Polypoid, but I'm also curious if red is an optional color that you can grab because I know that when you do the standard color switch, it just goes red blue, I believe, when it's uh, when players go in as top versus bottom. But anyway, yeah, they're even complaining about the lag. Uh, also, another thing people commented on was the zooming. And I guess this is just kind of a general question. Do people know where the general hot, if there's like hidden hotkeys somewhere? Every time I look for hotkeys for observer mode, I have trouble finding them. Really frustrating. Anyway, and part of the reason I don't do the zoom is because I can zoom out a little here, but I'm never sure if I got back to the original, I think this is original zoom right here. And I just found it recently, special thanks, uh, the, how to hide this bar. Anyway, we'll get rid of the silly recordings here and answer a quick question in chat is, are these modern recordings? This is a recent game from Chobo League. So played a little while ago, all of these are off of replays, but the actual casting is in fact live. We are seeing the gateway opening here from Gandhi with Assimilator, same opposite side of the map. So basically these are all from the, and I guess I just feel like this is the informative cast. Might as well roll with it. We are seeing a pylon in that back corner. I've heard that you gotta be careful doing this a little bit because sometimes probes can sneak themselves in. It looks actually a probe. That's unfortunate. I wonder if that's a lag factor we're able to sneak through. The first cast back from vacation, and Gandhi actually going to bring that probe all the way back to home base. The simulator is warping in on this side. It looks like we are seeing an initial zealot being built. Initial zealot's already out for K. Arthur and blocking the ramp. But yeah, I cast them live. They are off replay. You can watch it live on Twitch. If you go on Discord, there's notifications there. Or, you know, you can just follow me on Twitch if you're there on Twitch regularly. Arthur, I believe he adjusted his path. Yeah, I went cross map and then immediately moved up to go ahead and sneak that probe inside the base. Zealot trying to chase that probe down initially. anti manor pylon, knowing that that probe's in there uh, to make sure that this interior area is in fact protected. Dragoon's going to be following. Looks like a second Zealot for K. Arthur, which usually suggests a slight bit of aggression. And that's before Cybernetic Score. When you get that second Zealot, uh, when you get that second Zealot early, it slows down a lot of things. First of all, it slows down Dragoons. And if you can get a decent, even two Dragoons, oftentimes, depending on how many Zealots are underneath, as long as you're not pinned into a wall, those Dragoons can just assail those, uh, as long as there's a decent amount of micro. I'm wondering, actually, if this is an artifact, and that was decision by Arthur because of the lag. He's like, okay, I know there's going to be a little bit more lag, so let me go ahead and get two Zealots out and maybe go for a little bit more of early aggression. It looks like he does have a second gateway down as the second Assimilator is warping in. The Dragoon and the Zealot are actually moving forward to be a bit aggressive. Perhaps just get a look at that natural expansion. Comparatively, we do have range upgrading for both players. Range is going to finish, and this is another artifact of getting that second zealot, actually a third zealot out a little bit sooner, is that del that can delay range quite a bit because that cybernetic score is coming out later. The, you need the minerals, etc., etc. We've got three zealots now holding the ramp. Two dragoons making their way out. And honestly, these zealots need to be careful because they're not... Uh, and, uh, this could be where lag plays a big factor. This is kind of like the foreigner special. Just moving in the ramp, a little bit in the dark, eats a, a lot of free damage right there. Now three zealots in a single Dragoon holding. It looks like Gandhi upon that, he's gonna back out. He does see that, that natural expansion is in fact open. And I think he just wanted to try to get as much of a spot as possible. Arthur now moving to low ground with those three zealots. But usually again, seeing these zealots, I can't imagine, although Gandhi did not see him, I can't imagine he'd be like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a quick expansion build. He's going to gate into robotics facility himself. Now the question is, is, is and I believe Arthur with what he's displaying is potentially going to go observer and just maybe add a third gateway from there. I don't know, that might be the read here. He is positioning as though he's gonna take his natural expansion. It looks like we are going to see two gate robo into expansion for Gandhi before even robo 
and assimilator potentially because we do see a 400 mineral save right there and he actually take it back he's just going to drop a robo and an observatory in rapid succession uh to deal with this now arthur and again those zealots again slowing down this tech has his robo up he's going to go ahead and get that observatory first and i'm waiting to see if he drops that third gateway or if he's just going to go two gate observatory into expansion after this probe scout is wandering up to go ahead and go to look this probe wandering its way down and this is kind of interesting because the timing of that probe the dragoon actually peeking at that actual expansion as well the timing of that probe does two things one it might give arthur the false impression that there's an actual expansion going down uh, but also what it might be is, is let's, let's see when he sees this probe him across hunting down that dragoon when he see the ooh the probe backing off so he didn't see the probe coming crossed but arthur is basically yeah he's, he's pumped a lot of units here pumped a lot of units is a little bit behind in the probe count observer now out reaver on the way he might have had a timing where he could have slid up and he's starting to move that now he might have a timing where he can slide up and potentially deny the natural expansion a bit maybe even get some positioning on the ramp because it looks like there was a little bit of lag and delay in dragoons as well comparatively but com now arthur's going to go ahead and grab that natural expansion well ahead of gandhi comparatively he's got obs his observer moving out the observer trying to dodge to the north again because you don't want observers to get caught by other observers particularly when there's dragoons underneath and arthur right now with even though he's behind overall in the probe count a little bit he's going to end up with an economic lead here in the mid game a dragoon kind of wandering out just scouting making sure there's nothing else there he's going to be able to go in go ahead and see everything so arthur if he can just hold on for a little bit of time which i believe he's going to because again gandhi went for more of a defensive play going for that reaver on the ground first so gandhi basically what it comes down to is gandhi has a slight tick advantage he's got that reaver on the ground observer look i just missed an observer being picked off actually two kills on that dragoon got both the probe and the observer a little bit of greed wants all the honor on the and all the glory he's the one who's going to get promoted because of results but basically basically what's going to happen just as things unfold is it looks like arthur is going to go ahead as both players play passively he's going to get that natural expansion up significantly faster which is going to give him an opportunity to go ahead and start adding tech having a little bit of that uh, production lead in between particularly if he can saturate that fairly rapidly he's moving those probes to go ahead and do that mana transfer and gonna have that saturated momentarily and this is going to be yeah this next is going to be slightly behind it's not an overwhelming advantage but it is an advantage observer getting popped on the opposite side of the map and just seeing some additional pylons set down actually in the bottom left hand corner shuttle speed being upgraded and a shuttle being built so it looks like gandhi perhaps feeling that yes i'm economically behind wants to go ahead and get aggressive with this reaver and that shuttle maybe maybe press forward maybe do a little bit of harass maybe try to crash down and catch a couple units out of position he does have this odd stranded dragoon in the bottom right hand corner and arthur moving for i like that he's holding this position across this ramp location just in case attack forces were moving up they would be running into some nice concavity and be eating a lot of friendly fire before they even realize where they're at and also positioning as though he's going to take his third and just go for kind of a slow play slow play quick three bases he's tapped four gateways has his own reaver out no shuttle just yet shuttle is up a second reaver being built additional gateway now down for gandhi he's behind in just the pure gateway count but he is going to have an opportunity with those speed shuttles to do some harassment and the question is is does he move his entire army out and do the harassment with everything else or is he going to uh, play it a little bit more defensively this dragoon going up and peeking make sure there's no additional expansion right there um still hasn't gotten the, both players losing their initial observer haven't replaced that observer a pylon to the north just in case there was a shuttle coming across that direction it would be spotted two additional gateways for gandhi so he's definitely going for a large ground force follow-up this is going to be basically six gates versus four but citadel of adun coming up to follow and a speed shuttle with two reavers and basically the speed shuttle has got its work cut out for it i hope gandhi doesn't just move up with his entire attack force and does go uh, does opt for more of a drop it looks like an observer is going to get spotted and pushback does not see the shuttle coming across which is actually huge the shuttle will have a potential opportunity to drop in this back corner and oof with that pylon location actually it might be difficult for the dragoons to go up and provide a little bit of support we'll have to see a zeal a single zealot wandering up to do some scouting with his face going to be able to see all of the dragoons it's going to die a dragoon wandering up and is i'm wondering if it's actually gonna sneak back and try to try to scoop up that dragoon as well observer 
making it sway to the front. So dropping right there, the shuttle taking a little bit of additional damage, uh, gets one probe and one dragoon shot. A lot of dragoons moving forward, and they're able, oof, able to take out that shuttle with both reavers. Huge shift in momentum now for Arthur. Now Arthur can opt to go ahead and get aggressive. That was a huge loss for Gandhi, and I think that I, I'm going to chalk that one up to potentially lag. Ooh, that was brutal. Now, Arthur has a lot of options. He can just press the advantage and get aggressive. And interesting for Gandhi, Gandhi actually plopped down the third nexus. I think he was going to rely on that shuttle harass to allow this third nexus to come into play. Right now, he is well behind in the overall production scope. He's trying to get some speed zealots. He does have a Templar archive warping in, but Arthur's moving out, and this is not the timing. So Gandhi's going to have to pull out a micro miracle right here. The Reavers are slow and I don't know that they, they do have a shuttle that's peeling up for Gandhi. And yeah, Arthur needs to cancel that expansion. Honestly, plop down additional gateways just to survive this. One Reaver to the north. Right now, Gandhi has a slight advantage in that regard just because Arthur didn't plop his Reavers down. But there's just overwhelming amounts of units destroying everything. That Reaver getting picked off. It wasn't part of the bulk section of that battle. And there's the GG from Gandhi. So game one handily going to Arthur with some nice... I like his decision-making straight across the board, but also a little bit of greed from Gandhi upon losing that shuttle, still trying to hold that expansion instead of shelling up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Big shift in momentum with that reaver being lost, and I got a feel for these guys having to play uh, with that lag and that distance. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, we will move on to game two. Thanks for listening.